Good morning. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> it's morning time. No. This is going to be a quick all signs reading for the freaking weekend. It's the weekend. I know. It's time to wake up. Good morning. <laughs> it's so early. You guys are going to be watching this at night and be like, why does she keep saying good morning? <laughs> why is she talking like that? It's lunchtime. Okay. This is for... Okay, let's do a collective first. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Give me clear interpretations, protection for myself and all those watching. Clear messages for the weekend, Spirit. Yin and Yang. Okay, you know what this is. This is about the balance. This is about the feminine and masculine energies within, which we all have, right? This is about finding balance. This is also about unions, I feel. We're still in this trying energy with Venus and Venus and, and Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces. So Venus is exalted in Pisces and very happy here. And Jupiter expands everything. Neptune brings this dreamy, illusory, fantasy element to it all. And um, sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Because that can bring deceptions too. But we are feeling more uh, spiritually aligned. We're psychically in tune. And our intuitions are heightened, I guess. So, Venus brings more love. She's very powerful in Pisces. She's very happy here. So, she brings more love here. She brings more money. So, this is actually a really good weekend. So, you should use this energy, especially today. Today is Saturday. My eyes look weird. Sorry. Okay. Getting it. Thank you. Attachments. Some of you are letting go of attachments, letting go of addictions, letting go of bad habits. Goddess of the moon. Yeah. This is that increased intuition. Okay. You could be dealing with the Pisces. This is for the collective. So this is just everyone feeling more Piscean. You don't have a choice. We all have Pisces in our charts and we have four planets there at this time. So there's more power, there's more weight in that house. Check out your birth chart and find where Pisces is, what house it's in for you. And then um, you just, if you don't know, you look up the house and that will tell you what it is for you. Maybe feeling this in your fifth house, which would be more so about pleasures, hobbies, creativity, happiness, children, and new love and romance. If it was in your second house you may be seeing an increase in abundance and your value and self-worth etc so i have been noticing with this attachment card okay this is i think recognizing the don't look at my nails this is about <laughs> the attachments that we have but i feel we're recognizing them in order to let them go so that is the key is that we're letting them go um, and that includes attachments to people food, habits, addictions, um, smoking, drinking, coffee even. I switched to green tea, you know, so I'm doing my part. So think about the things that you're changing. Dietary changes as well. Maybe you just want to eat better. Um, but during this time in Pisces, Pisces is about release, it's about letting go. It's about surrendering to the divine. So we are surrendering in a lot of ways to attachments that we have. So anything. It's about balance. And this is like getting super in tune, goddess of the moon, in tune with your intuition, in tune with um, the collective, with your higher self, and with the creator, and getting into alignment with your path. 
this time moving into Taurus is going to be very powerful for aligning with your life's purpose, uh, your mission because of the North Node. And Uranus is still in Taurus, which means unexpected, shocking, rebellious ways, finding new ways of making money, new ways of doing things, new ways of feeling better about yourself, your self-worth and value. And this is just um, going to just be a really great time, exponential growth and a really good time for money. So don't sleep on this time. Pluto will be going retrograde with the solar eclipse at the end of this uh, next week. So just be aware of that. There will be um, more recognizing upheavals. This is when we go back over the depth. We go back over the letting go. We go back over the situations that we left behind, which means people can be coming back into your life. Situations may come back up. And it's just to be sure that you understand why and what that is and what you're healing. Um, Pluto is the death and transformation. Anytime there's a retrograde, it's about questioning, reassessing, and um, going back over what you've learned. So those things will come back up. It doesn't mean you have to allow those things back into your life, especially if you let go of toxic people or situations or addictions and attachments. This is just like a universal test saying like, hey, remember that thing? You remember that? Are you going to do that again? Because it's here. Do you want to do that again? This is making me hot. It's actually probably my green tea, right? I know. Okay. Um, anything more for the collective spirit? We're going to get a new deck, animal spirit. Animal spirit cards. Good morning. Good morning. It's going to be a great day. Otter spirit, you are never alone. Okay, even when you're feeling super isolated, you know who's there? You are. Your higher self, spirit, creator. And we have embraced the in-between. And I get... Is this... Is this the same creator? Um, my other deck is at the office. These Colette Baron Reed cards. She has a card in another deck that has this flamingo walking in between worlds. And you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, it comes out all the time lately, especially in between worlds, because we are still in this stagnancy, this uncomfortable energy that we're trying to move out of, right? So this is saying embrace it. Spirit is saying embrace this in between. That is really cool. I didn't notice that... That's the same as the other deck. Really kind of a cool synchronicity. And then we have learned from the past. And that's what I mean. Mercury retrograde's coming, I think, May 11th. So things are coming back from your past. You have to be ready to say, no, I let this go for a reason. And remember why. Okay? Learning from your past. Remembering why. And elephants are very wise. Okay? They have a... a incredible memory and that is probably why she used that on that card okay let's hit it with the tarot real quick for the collective spirit we got to get going here because these all signs videos turn into so much you know no way this whole deck is upside down every now and then i'll go through and put them back all right side up and start again Oh, I just picked it up upside down. I'm not doing that. Okay, thank you. If it jumps out in reverse, I'll read it in reverse. But I just happened to pick up the deck and I didn't even look at it and they were all in reverse. There we go. The star. Okay, wish fulfillment. Also faith. This is about a renewal of faith in yourself. Creativity. Um, Self-mastery. Becoming the star. It's about manifestations. It's also connected to the Pleiades. Some of you may have star seed connections to the Pleiadians. You see the star system in the back. 
Uh, the star is representative of Aquarian energy, and that's where Saturn is at this time. This may have something to do with Saturn. Um, Saturn is bringing things up to be like, are you sure? Saturn tests us and brings restrictions in order to get you to look at things, you know? And then we have Six of Swords, which is moving on. This is about moving on to a better space for the collective. Moving, um, moving towards these things we have in our mind. I feel like Spirit is saying, the stars, these wishes we have, okay? These dreams that we've been working on. These things that we want for ourselves. I feel as though we're moving we're moving towards those things, no matter what the obstacles are. We want to let go of chaos and confusion and move further into this star energy, which is your wishes fulfilled, no matter the naysayers, no matter anyone in, in your way. What else for the collective spirit? So a lot of us are leaving things behind right now in order to attain our dreams. And that, that's a hard space to be in. That's this in-between space. Okay, and Spirit wants to remind you, you're never alone. You're meant to remember these things, judgment in reverse. But yeah, someone it will come back from the past, okay? Um, especially with this Venus energy here, people are going to be feeling more lovey-dovey. And just like you're supposed to remember your past, people are doing the same thing. So if they haven't moved on, or they haven't found anything better, or they have no dreams and goals or anything that fills them up, like these wishes that we have, they're going to remember you. They're going to want to come back to you. So this is about, this can go two ways, judgment reverse in the situation. Someone will want to resurrect the past. Someone will want to bring things back from the past, okay? But in reality, some of us could just be not making a decision on something, not listening to the call. It's, uh, in the upright, this is about your inner knowing, listening to your inner voice and or the voice of creator, your intuition the judgment call and answering the call that sort of thing where are you being called to so in reverse would be like some of us are kind of avoiding our mission at this time do not procrastinate we are moving forward remember when this person or the situation comes back up addictions you know um that's this is a time when a lot of people would relapse especially all this energy in pisces because pisces is the escapist um as well as sagittarian energy um, and a little bit Gemini too. So when you want to escape things or something seems kind of, um, you're scared about it, you know, a little feeling a little bit fearful about moving forward. That is when you would just want to escape, not really move forward on it because it's too hard. It's too scary. There's too many obstacles and that's going to be too much work. Uh, so don't avoid this calling, this inner knowing, okay? And or if someone comes back around trying to resurrect the dead, let it stay dead, okay? That is the message. Anything else? The chariot, exactly. We're moving forward, okay? We're not resurrecting the dead here. We're moving forward. We got a new path. We have a brand new direction. And it feels good. So it feels good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because six... The six of pentacles in reverse on the bottom. So we're moving away from things that aren't aren't fulfilling us, aren't giving us what we're giving. If it's not reciprocal, if you're not giving um, and getting the same amount, why would you give your whole heart to something that barely gives you anything, right? Why would you continue to be there for someone or a situation when they don't see you in the same way, you're not on the same page, they're not fulfilling you in the same way you feel you're fulfilling them or giving to them. That's just not going to happen, okay? This is about your value. This it could also be about money. Um, so watch your money. There could be a lot of money going out, a lot of um, unexpected expenses. But I really just feel like it's about you giving too much. So be careful not to give too much in a situation when you know it's not going to be reciprocated. Okay, that's the collective. Thank you, Spirit. It feels good. Yeah. Feels good. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> you guys know that song? Okay, we're going to jump to Capricorn. 
I'm going to just try to do this very quickly, okay? I know they always end up being like 15 minutes per sign. I don't want to do that today. I can't do that today. So, <clears throat> Spirit, Creator, give us messages for the weekend for Capricorn. Action. And, of course, we just left the moon in Capricorn. So, the last two days, you may have felt a really big push to get stuff done. Now that the moon is in Aquarius, you may feel a little bit more relaxed. Um, and maybe wanting to be a little bit more social too. Maybe not. You may just feel like you need to rest because we did make this push the last two days. However, Spirit is saying, Capricorn, you're still in this energy. So you're needing to take action this weekend. What are you going to do? Um, you probably are already taking action. Some sort of movement uh, towards this new direction. The sweet results await. So you guys know this. Capricorn, you're the best at this. You understand what effort and work um, means and desire and how to achieve goals. You're the best at it. You're super determined and disciplined. So you already know. If you put in the action, you put in the work, sweet results await. And you're going to get some goodies. So let's get some tarot for the weekend for Capricorn. You guys must be working on something big. Okay, why is this still on the bottom? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's better. Tell me about Capricorn Spirit for the weekend. What can Capricorn expect this weekend? Ooh. Uh, this could be um, someone you feel is deceiving you, um, a trickster, or someone taking from you. However, this could also mean strategy. So let's see what else comes out. This could just be you developing a plan, a strategy. Mm. Oh no, what's happening here? Three of Swords. Something that has caused pain for you. Could be an ending. King of Pentacles. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Something ended here due to a sneak, it seems. Someone who's being a little bit shady. Someone may have been hiding something from you. Um, so, there was definitely heartbreak here. This could also be um, like surgery or personal injury of some kind. That's just a side note. That's for other people. But King of Pentacles, this is about you focused on what's going to bring you stability, what's going to bring you your money, what's going to put you in alignment with your, your security and your highest good. King of Pentacles is about balancing, figuring out what's best for you. This, he doesn't worry about anything. King of Pentacles is a giver, um, but it's like only when he can give. And he's very generous. But he has plenty to give because he's a hard worker. So this is a card for Capricorn. This represents Earth. And this is, um, it's like you need to take a step back. You're, you're like realizing your value. Maybe you were giving too much in a situation. Now you're moving on from something. And Spirit is saying like this is what's best for you, okay? Good things are coming because we have the Fool ending this little spread here. We have the Four of Swords. So you're healing from this and it seems like you're ready to move forward. And Spirit is saying, once you move forward out of this, this is the sweet results await. So take action. Don't wait on this. If someone is hurting you or someone has hurt you, this healing needs to be done. You may need to take a, a break from work for a little bit with this King of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. But it's like you're okay. You're stable enough to do that. Of course, only do that if you're stable. But... Um, this is like taking a break, either from a relationship, from work, whatever, taking a vacation, getting your mind off of this shit because somebody really hurt you here. And we have the Fool, which is a new beginning. Okay, Aries energy, initiation, taking the steps forward, taking action on something brand new. So that looks very good for you, Capricorn. And we have the star on the bottom again. So you're moving towards your dreams. Don't let anyone slow you down. And if someone's willing to hurt you, steal from you, lie to you, Get the fuck out of here. No, we're not doing that. Not today, Satan. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. Journey. I like it. 
I'm liking it. You guys are on a new journey. You're feeling it. You're starting something brand new. Everyone is. I mean, we're starting a brand new cycle here. Soulmate cycles have ended. New ones beginning. Career journeys are starting. This is just brand new energy for everyone. It's a really great time to be alive. It's a really great time to start something new. And you are doing it, Aquarius, with this journey. You're, you're on a new path here. Be fearless and bold. You guys are, are setting the way. I feel like you guys are really doing something different here. Very unique and different. Um, and so you're needing to be bold. You're needing to don't care what anybody says about this. And just go for it. Because this is something I feel like, a, you know, like an explorer. Like um, paving the way. Or like um, a brand new energy here. Like doing something nobody's done. Let's get that Capricorn energy out of here. <clears throat> Sorry, Cappies. But y'all going through some heartache and we don't want that on all these cards, okay? Talk about Aquarius to me. Come and talk to me. Can I talk to you? Three of Pentacles. Yeah. You guys are formulating a blueprint here building with someone collaborating starting something new this could be a, a new business new business partner these popped off sideways so that's weird um the higher font sideways could be questioning this um if you should be committing to this thing here and that's why spirit is saying you got to be bold here you're still going back and forth we have higher font and two of pinnacles but they jumped out sideways so it's like the energy is a little bit strange here that could be your crossing energy, something that is kind of keeping you mentally stuck, where it's like, should I, shouldn't I, do I have the money for this, should I invest in this, um, will I get any return on this, um, and I think that you will, but staying in that energy of, should I commit to something, should I jump into something, um, you could also be questioning your belief system surrounding money and, and what you're building here, you could have Still some unanswered questions about this business venture, this journey, whatever it is. For some of you, it's relationships. For some of you, it is a new business. Um, you, this is wanting to build, period. So whether you're wanting to build with someone or you're wanting to build in your life, you're still questioning about it if you're ready to do that. And Aquarius, you need freedom. So, you know, if someone's trying to get you to commit to something and you're not all the way in it, you need to really think about that. It seems like that's what you're doing. But you will get some sort of truth here with the Ace of Swords. You will have some form of new inspiration or guidance and epiphany that comes in. Or someone will come to you in conversation. Um, and it will give you the clarity that you need. We have Nine of Cups on the bottom. So this may end up really being something that fulfills you in all ways. You know? A wish come true. I think it would be something good. Spirit has told you to be fearless and bold. So despite your hesitation Aquarius I think you should go for it thank you let's go to Pisces Pisceans Pisceans this is for Pisces for the weekend spirit please give us guidance for Pisces for this weekend what's coming in for Pisces this weekend Pisces door to spirit so your connection is increasing the spirit, and I completely get that, whether you're a Pisces sun or Pisces rising, um, even Pisces eighth house, which would be Leo risings, um, or Pisces twelfth house. <laughs> so door to spirit, you're connecting stronger now than ever. You understand your path if you're not falling into the negativity, the fear, the the push for something, the strong need to control things. This is about surrendering, allowing spirit to surprise you, allowing spirit to come in and, and show you that reason, um, like the reading yesterday for Pisces, show you the reasons why you should have faith in the universe because they're giving you everything right now. Spirit, the universe, Jupiter, um, Neptune, and now with Venus. So there is an increase in abundance, an increase in awareness, because all of this is in Pisces. We know they're the most spiritual sign. They're the most in tune. They're the most um, clear intuition. So connect to spirit. And you. we all know this as Pisces, right? 
when you connect to spirit and you're on your path, nothing can stop you. No negativity. No, you are super protected. It's when you fall into that negative energy and you're trying to escape and you're trying to avoid and you're doing toxic things to do that, that you close your heart chakra down, you close down your third eye and your crown and you're not listening. And then spirit, you know, he's like, all right, I'll wait till you're ready because you know when you're in tune, you're in your most highest place. Nothing can tear you down. Nothing can stop you. And everything comes in super fast. You are an ultra, ultra manifester. Uber manifester. When you're in tune. So stay in tune. Get reconnected this weekend. Pisces messages, please. Tell me about this. Card spirit, door spirit. Time for a deep dive. Exactly. Don't you love how spirit works? Okay, it's time to go deep. It's time to reconnect. It's time to figure out why you're on this planet. Some of you already know that. Some of you just need a refresher. Okay, when you are in tune with spirit, you are in tune with you. And you can do no wrong. Literally. You can have anything that you want when you are listening. But it's time for a deep dive. Reconnecting. Going deep within, healing past pain, um, discovering what's been holding you back. And a lot of times, it's you. And that's the goes for everyone, not just Pisces. Page of Pentacles, there is a new opportunity here for you when it comes to money and or relationships. And this Page of Pentacles is going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles. So go for these ideas. Go for these little nudges that you have, these new opportunities. Do not turn down an opportunity at this time because it will turn into something really good. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. So someone may come in, you may be talking to a fire sign, a new type of energy coming in, which is very creative and passionate. Someone may be helping you on this journey towards this happiness. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, but this energy is a little bit wishy-washy. These people come and go. So be careful with that energy. Sometimes they just want to play. Sometimes they just want something new. This could be your energy too. Um, you could be in between deciding on this um, Page of Pentacles idea. But we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things will turn out in your favor. The Knight of Wands is just really not that dependable. But if you are dealing with a fire sign, we have Ace of Cups here. And we have Two of Wands. So it is possible that you are really starting to plan something with this person or you may be traveling with this person um, or planning to travel to this person if they are distant from you so um just check the intentions for this person it, there is an opportunity for love there is an opportunity for money here so it may go hand in hand a lot of times when pisces is in a very good relationship their money's really good too and um vice versa if you're in a toxic relationship your money will suffer so Keep in mind that Knight of Wands is not dependable. They they may just want sex or a passionate connection. The Ace of Cups is here, so I feel like there's potential for more. This person, um, you may end up falling for them, and it may turn into something real. But for now, it seems the potential for love is there. The Wheel of Fortune is there, so um, there is some type of gain here. High Priestess, listen to your intuition when it comes to this person, okay? They may have secrets. Three of swords on the bottom. They may still be healing from some past pain, okay? Or you may be dealing with another Pisces. Someone is making plans here and they're excited for the future. So the potential is there is what I'm saying. What is the outcome? Full reverse. And the chariot. Okay, so this could be something new. Uh, you could be going for a new type of person or a new type of job that you've never done before. But you're moving towards it. It's a good opportunity. Um, you could also be feeling a little bit foolish or intimidated by this person. You may feel that you're younger than this person or less experienced than this person. Um, so just watch your intuition for whatever this Knight of Wands energy is. That could be you. And, and Spirit may just be saying you need to experiment a little bit this weekend. Get a little bit more creative. Listen to your higher self because with that King of Wands came the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like it's good opportunity and it's good potential. Okay, let's go to Aries, please. Aries, tell me about Aries, please, for the weekend. 
Aries for the weekend. Why don't you want to talk? I'm just going to grab it. Hostilities. Ooh. You guys, yin and yang. Okay, you could be having hostilities with your partner, or you could just be feeling irritable this weekend. Why are you so angry, Aries? Maybe not angry. Maybe more frustration. Lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. Okay, so you guys are needing to maybe take a step back. Understand how you're viewing the situation or this person a little bit better. Someone could be being hostile with you. Or you just feel some sort of tension in a relationship or a situation. This could just be your frustration about anything, really. It could be about money or a person. Tell me about Aries. What is this, spirit? Be generous of spirit. Hmm. Ten of Wands jumps out kind of sideways. So this is a burden for you. It's like you're in between putting it down. It's like you don't know if you should hang on to it or let it go. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys are, are you either dealing with or, or you are um, single, feeling good about yourself, making your own money. So it's like, should I just do this on my own? There is a burden here. If this is in a relationship, someone is burdening you, you'd rather be single. That's what I get. You're kind of questioning, should you drop this burden or not? The Magician. Um, you can create something new here. It seems like you're manifesting something here. You have good money, Queen of Wands. You could be manifesting a new fire sign, Queen of Wands. So you could be calling in uh, a Leo, Sag, or another Aries energy. And we have that popped out with the Two of Cups. So the more confident you are, the better off you are with this person. Um, not cocky, but take action, definitely. Uh, be spontaneous. Have fun with this person. And um, be very loving. Show this person who you are. You know, the, the more outgoing you are, the better. Two of Cups. This is this could be a potential soulmate. Uh, okay, you're either frustrated that you've been single for a long time and you're manifesting a new fire sign, or you're letting go of someone and you want to be single. And by doing so and focusing on yourself and your money, you end up attracting this Queen of Wands energy, um, which is someone who knows what they want. They're very attractive. And this is this Two of Cups energy here. The chariot on the bottom. So this is, um, could be dealing with the Cancer energy as well. But this is about moving towards another opportunity or, or a new potential for a soulmate. Some of you may be questioning going back. You may be trying to manifest somebody back. I don't really see any past cards, but... That, that kind of wants sideways kind of makes me feel weird. It's like you don't know whether to fight for it or let it go. But you have this wish of being single. Or maybe the person you're with wants to be single. I don't know, Aries. Y'all know better than me. Okay, Taurus. Taurus energy for the weekend. Taurus energy for the weekend. Or synergy spirit community you guys are wanting to go out this is like a three of cups um but this is just about finding a support system going out with friends possibly meeting new people wanting to meet new people for some of you you could be juggling two people i don't like to look at the three of cups that way everyone talks about three of cups as a third party when the cup that three of cups is really about reunion celebration I'm feeling happy about what could be emotional fulfillment. So let's see. Community. You guys might be wanting to. Or you could be having an event this weekend. Some sort of plans to see some friends, some family. Or just to get out more. Maybe you're going out this weekend. Tell me about Taurus spirit for this weekend. me about Taurus, please. Think on your feet. Hmm. So you could be meeting someone new. Someone that sparks your interest. 
Well, something could be coming in right now that, that uh, you're really not prepared for. So you got to be on your toes. You got to be on high alert. Okay, let's see. You could be suspecting someone of a third party thing. Okay, I don't know. I don't really like saying that kind of stuff, but with the think on your feet, it's like you already know. I'm spirit. I feel, I feel like spirit is saying you already know this. Whatever this energy is. So either you're juggling or someone's juggling you. I don't know. That could just be for some of you. Don't take that if that's not for you, okay? Because I know how that energy feels. Queen of Wands. So this is about you feeling confident. Ten of Wands. What is going on here? You and Aries got these cards. So you could be wanting to drop a burden with a fire sign. Or this is about you trying to be everything for everyone and it's good. The, the burden is getting too high. High priestess. You need to really listen to your intuition here. Think on your feet. That's like the same thing. Spirit is saying the same thing. It's like you are you're aware of something already. So you something is telling you you need to let this go. Queen of Swords popped out in the reverse. So someone could be very harsh with their words, harsh harsh communication. Um or you're searching for clarity on something, but you already know this. It's like you're doubting your what you already know. And that's why spirit has to say to you, think on your feet. It's like it's like don't think about this too long. Just do it. Because you're you're going back and forth and you're gonna question yourself because you already know this, but it's like you're looking for clarity. Or you're dealing with a an air sign that's kind of snooty, a little bit harsh with their words. Ultimately we have the sun here. You could also be dealing with Leo, but this is a happiness card. So you could have people in your life causing drama for you, chaos, whatever, and you're wanting to respond, but you're needing to just back off and drop this burden. That could be another scenario here. You're feeling yourself. You're good right now. Queen of Wands, you're confident. So it's like, I'm focused on me. I'm doing me. I know what I want. Something has gotten very stressful for you and it's, it's too much right now. And you know that. You may be avoiding a conversation with someone. I've got to clarify this Queen of Swords reverse. Spirit, tell me about this Queen of Swords, please. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? The Emperor. And it came out sideways. So someone may be trying to control the situation a little bit too hard, okay? The Emperor is like my way or the highway when it's in a, a negative energy and because it came out sideways it's like something twisted about this situation harsh words could have been spoken someone trying to control and manipulate the situation and do something that's just for them now whether that's you i don't know you guys can be very stubborn Taurus. so you know be careful with your words i don't know what this is you know what this is because the high priestess is here um someone could be keeping some sort of truth from you and you think someone's got secrets you know, though, you know, listen to your intuition. Think on your feet. This is like, be smart about this. That's what spirit is saying. And it will lead to your ultimate happiness. You know, or, or a light will be shown on the situation. The sun card is also like talking about the light. So these things will come to light. If you're suspecting someone or, or someone's manipulating you, this could be friends. It doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't, whatever it is, you know what this is. Okay. So be prepared for that. Stay in your logical, uh, grounded energy and listen to your intuition. Do not react. Just drop it. Just drop the burden. You don't have to argue. You don't have to fight. You don't have to say harsh words or try to control someone else. Just let it go. Gemini, please. Gemini, please, for the weekend. Deceit. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, honey. Someone, you do not trust this person, okay? There's some sort of trust trust issue coming up here. <clears throat> you feel someone's lying to you or you feel someone's just being shady. What's up here, Gemini? Tell me about Gemini this weekend. Well, this could be someone you're dealing with. 
or this could be your energy. Set healthy boundaries. No, 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 no. This is someone you're dealing with. Okay. You need to tell this person where to go because if there's one thing I know, it's that you should never question your intuition. If you have a feeling, if you have that gut knowing something is up and it's not fear-based, or even if this is just an issue caused by something that seems shady, it might just seem shady. You're needing to set healthy boundaries because something is causing this. Look at the root cause. So whether you have issues with this person or you've had issues with this person in the past and they're continuing the same behavior, that's where you need to set the boundary, okay? Because that is going to cause you to feel conflicted or to feel an imbalance because it's possibly something that's happened before. So you're needing to put your foot down here. And we're going to see what spirit has to say, but you may need to walk away. If this person cannot respect the fact that there's an issue somewhere or they're being shady somewhere and then maybe they're not taking accountability for that. Tell me about Gemini, please. Yeah, you are on high alert. You are on guard here. And we got the devil. This energy is very toxic in you. This can be affecting your health at this time because this is a really a uh, triggering moment here. You are super guarded. You feel there's an opportunity with this person. You could have been with this person for a while now. There could be broken promises here or someone may promise you the world. You know, Knight of Pentacles moves very slow though. This could be a long-term thing that, that you've been working toward, but there is something here. There is something with this Devil card. We have Nine of Wands, the Devil, Knight of Pentacles. The Hangman. Someone here is in a stagnant energy, okay? They're, someone here might have commitment issues and it's causing you to see something in a shady way because this person moves very slow and it's like they don't really know what they want or you don't really know what you want. And if you got one foot in, one foot out, that is not the place to be, baby. That, that feels like deceit, you know? When you can't trust someone or they're not coming towards you 100% or you feel like their energy is dispersed among friends or others or family or work or whatever and you feel like something's going on that's for a reason you know you know when someone's being direct with you when someone wants you and you know when their energy is not coming towards you so someone here is waiting there's a pause on this queen of swords there will be a conversation about this okay <laughs> there will be a there will be an argument here. Someone can't let something go. Four of Pentacles on the bottom. There isn't, yeah. Here's the thing, Jen. My sweet Jen. This is coming up for a reason. You do not forget that. Okay? So if you are feeling some type of way, it doesn't mean you're crazy. It doesn't mean you have trust issues. It doesn't mean any of that. It means your history has proven something to you with this person that makes you feel that you can't trust them. And that's why these boundaries are necessary. And if they cannot stay within those boundaries, and this is going to be a repetitive issue, a triggering thing, then it needs to be put to bed. This is going to cause arguments. Cold energy, very cold. You may be detached from this person and not even speaking to this person at this time because of an argument. Someone will not let this go. Someone may not be taking accountability. They're sticking to their story. Hard energy. And we have the moon. So this is very emotional for the both of you, but there is something hidden. You feel like something is going on here. There's something that's unknown in this situation. And you just want to know, like, why? What the hell? What's going on here? Ugh. Put it to bed. Set healthy boundaries. That is for you. Don't let somebody make you feel like... You got no reason to feel how you do. No one can ever tell you how to feel. Okay? You know how you feel. You do you, Jim. Little Jim and I. You're going to have a great weekend. Okay? Despite this. Tell me about cancer. Cancer. Oh, no. Broken heart. 
Why? I know why. I've been watching you guys. You've been dealing with something, trying to figure out something. Trying to figure out why you can't seem to make this happen. Tell me about this for Cancer Spirit. Cancer for the weekend. Why is Cancer so sad this weekend? Broken heart. Dealing with some type of pain. Trying to heal this open wound. Hmm. Yeah, I feel it in my gut. Make sure you're eating, okay? Spirit has a plan. Clear out the clutter. You guys need to get rid of some toxic energy, whether it's addictions, whether it's this person. Get rid of all the text messages. Delete the conversation. Delete all everything you have from this person. Pictures, doesn't matter. Because this is for your highest good, okay? Spirit has a plan. Clear out the clutter. Something is making you feel worse. So broken heart, be it, whatever. But there's more to it than that. Whether this is um, addictions, maybe you're trying to escape, um, maybe you're trying to avoid, get rid of it. If you got this, um, the situation keeps coming up for you, whatever it is, don't keep it around. Don't let it keep coming around. If, they, if it's a person and they have clothes at your house or whatever, throw it out. Throw it out, give it back to them, whatever. Because your space is being affected. It's more than just pain here. You need to get rid of the bullshit in your life, Cancer. Do not keep doing the same shit. Clear out the clutter, okay? So that, when I mean, there is a lot of clutter in your house and shit, and this is just a side note. This I feel this is more like emotional clutter, but when your house is full of stuff and you can't focus or you can't find shit or you keep things from forever ago for no reason and you don't wear it and you don't use it, that starts to build and it builds and it builds and it can make you sick it's an it's an emotional it has an emotional effect on you okay and your spirit and your physicality so think about your life right now cancer what needs to go you need to get rid of some things here fighting and arguing chaos and confliction okay whether you're arguing with someone you had it out with somebody uh, page of Wands here. You could be dealing with a fire sign. This person is immature. This person just runs off at the mouth, I feel. Okay? Or they say they say dumb shit. <laughs> it's like, ugh. Why don't even argue with this person? I feel like you want to I feel like you want a new start, Page of Wands. Like you want to go somewhere else. You're excited about possible future things. You know spirit has a plan for you. It's like you know this had to happen. Okay, but it's like you're still holding on to it in some way. Anything more for cancer for the weekend? King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Capricorn Taurus. But uh, for some of you, this is about money. You have a new opportunity for money and maybe that's your focus. This has brought you great disappointment, okay? But do not fall into that victim mentality where somebody hurt you, somebody did something to you. No, because you have this Ace of Wands here, this new creative beginning, this new passionate beginning. You have this and you have Page of Wands. So it's like you already know there's a new opportunity somewhere for creativity, for passion, uh, maybe a passion project. Whatever it is, you're in this King of Pentacles energy. It's like that's that daddy energy, you know, that's like I'm good on my own. I have my own money. I'm very secure in who I am. The only thing is you're still disappointed about this thing. Okay, do not do not play the blame game. Do not feed into that bullshit. Accept the lessons that have been learned and move on to this new passionate beginning. Could have a new beginning with the fire sign. Justice on the bottom. This is like a karmic thing, okay? This cycle needed to end. Justice is coming out for you. So you will come out of this positively. And we know that because spirit has a plan. Okay, let's go to Leo. Leo, please, for the weekend. Financial constraints. Hmm. I got more because I didn't, that didn't seem right. I 
I felt like another card wanted to come out and that one ended up falling. We have Angel of Strength as well. So, and uh, Solar Plexus on the bottom. So this is about your personal power, okay? The more you give in to your, your dreams, your wishes, your goals, Leo, where you're headed, the better you will feel. Your personal power, as your personal power is ignited, you're standing in your sovereignty and you're listening to your gut. Um, this is this strength. This is having faith in yourself, believing in who you are, trusting in the great unknown, trusting in what's coming in for you. I feel like things will get better. Spirit is saying this is, might be a rough patch right here for you financially. But you have the angel of strength here. So you just need to trust right now, okay? Trust and faith in the universe. Everything will be just fine for you, Leo. Tell me about this angel of strength, please. This is for the weekend, Spirit. Financial constraints. But maybe something's coming up this weekend that you weren't expecting. You got to pay for it, okay? But Spirit's like, don't even worry about it. We got you. Okay, we got you covered. What's this here for Leo? What does Leo need to do this weekend, Spirit? You are never alone. Some of you are just feeling very isolated, okay? You feel like maybe you're going through a rough patch here. Maybe you're worried about money. Worried about something. You're not having faith in the situation, which means you could be high in anxiety. Anytime you're in that fearful energy, you know. Some of you may be isolating yourselves on purpose. The world here. We have a new beginning coming in, which means there was some type of closure here. Could have had an ending to a chapter, which means there's a new beginning. There is some kind of financial constraint here, I see, or something doesn't feel equal, whether that's in your job or that's in a relationship. You do have Six of Cups as well. So maybe you weren't giving enough in a situation, Leo, or maybe they weren't giving to you enough in a situation. This could be soulmate energy, or you're just reminiscing on the past of how maybe you could have gave more, or maybe they should have gave more. Whatever it is, it's over now because the world is here. So this could just be a culmination of events in your mind that um, is the world, so it's like closure in your mind or just an epiphany in your mind of why things went the way they went with the soulmate. There is some type of money worry and that could have impacted your relationship. So if finances was a problem in your relationship, that's something you got to think about. Someone's planning to come back. Two of Wands. This could be you. You could be planning on, because it's just the way he's looking at this card. It's like this person is making a plan to go back to the soulmate or to go back to something from the past. Listen, this is about newness, okay, Leo? We don't want to go back. We don't want to go back to the way things were. Things might have been good, but things were not equal, okay? And it's like, it's like it wasn't balanced. It wasn't stable. So it could not last that way. And that's why things had to change, and that's why the world is here. You are planning new things for yourself. It seems like you're taking a new path. You are at a crossroads now. And we have, he holds the world in this card. So the world is here twice, which means this is about great change. You're making great change. You're going on a new path. You're excited about your future. But something still is telling you that your past is the best thing for your future. Um, because you're wanting to go back to this soulmate energy here. I think you need to just focus on this excitement of this new path. High Priestess. Yeah. You need to go with your gut on this, the sun. Could be dealing with Pisces. Could be dealing with another Leo. My priestess and the sun. It's like you... It. I feel like you know this person is your happiness. Listen to your intuition on this for what is going to make you happy, okay? If in your gut you know this, this is not right to go back to, you need to stop thinking about the past. You need to turn this man around. He needs to turn around. It's like, this is the best option. He knows that. He's trying to go back to what he feels is his best option, you see? But he needs to turn around with this rod. Toss this one to the side. That's this guy. And go <laughs> and go this way. He needs to go that way. Away from the past. That's what I feel. Just because... It wasn't equal. Unless you're trying to go back and make things right, make things equal, maybe.
maybe you were the one that wasn't giving. Maybe you it was this financial constraints. Maybe you're super worried about money. Queen of Pentacles. This is the this is the mother. This is like wifey, mother of your kids type energy. This is someone who is they're focused on their money. They're they're secure in who they are. You could have issues with your mom. Mommy issues. Um, or you could have issues though. I feel like you, you want to go back to your past, Leo. You need to rethink that. Listen to your intuition, okay? Let's go to Virgo. Virgo, please. If you don't get the... If this car doesn't stop coming out, broken heart. Cancer and Virgo. Are y'all dealing with each other? Virgo, are you dating a Cancer? Somebody got some Cancer energy. Virgo. What's going on here, Spirit, for the weekend? Y'all, why are y'all broken hearted? This is so sad. Tell me about Virgo for this weekend. Why are they so sad? Tell me about Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. The miracles are endless. So this is about good shit coming in for you, Virgo. Why are you stressing out about this? Sorry. Kind of. I need that green bee in my life. Why are you guys sad? Cow spirit. Cows are representative of abundance. You know? So oh, you've got some good stuff coming in. You're conflicted about this. You feel like someone was rejecting you or someone abandoned you. And so you you just had to walk away from it. Something is not right here. Something is missing. It could be financial constraints. But someone could have left you out in the cold. Okay. Or you could have left someone else behind. I get this energy of it's both. It's mutual. And because it came out sideways, it's like there's something about the situation that's not, not exactly as it seems. So... Either this person made you feel some type of way, so you had to walk away, and now they feel left out in the cold, which means you both feel left out in the cold. Um, or you just feel someone was leaving you behind, but it's like you know you know that's what's best for you. So it's like you're doing it anyways, even though it hurts. Miracles are endless. Two of Pentacles. You may still go back and forth in your mind about this, or you were juggling. Maybe you got two people you were trying to decide between. You know, and and or maybe they did. High Priestess, you know something is going on here. This is listen to your intuition. There could be secrets here. Someone keeping secrets. The High Priestess is about your knowing. It's about what you're manifesting um, in your mind. So be careful with that because a lot of times situations that come in is self fulfilling prophecy. If you think something's going on or whatever. The high priestess energy is about how you manifest in the higher realms before it comes into physicality. Okay? And then we have this two of wands. So, you're at a crossroads here. There's a lot of confliction here. Two of pentacles, two of wands. It's like you're trying to decide, you're trying to listen to your intuition on what's best. Spirit is saying there are miracles here. You're looking out into a new path. It's like you you know there's better things for you, but you're still weighing out your options for some reason. You want to build with someone. You want security with someone. In Virgo, that, that's absolutely your energy. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving forward to someone that you can build with. You want stable, secure energy. This person doesn't make you feel like that. This person makes you feel like they don't want the same things that you want. Okay, let's go to Libra. What time is it? What time is it? I don't know, I guess to go. Tell me about Libra spirit. Tell me 
about Libra for the weekend? Yes, cornucopia. There's a lot of blessings and abundance coming your way, Libra. This could be a really good weekend for you. And um, money and love. It's because Venus is exalted. And, and Pisces and Venus rules you. So you could just feel really great this weekend. Ooh. Grace. No, give with give with gratitude and grace. Turkey spirit. So you may be getting like some type of bonus or some type of money coming in. Some type of unexpected thing here. So spirit is saying be grateful for what you have and give back a little bit. Um, cornucopia could also be you just looking around you and feeling just really good about your life, really blessed, really grateful for where you are. Um, you may have had some type of epiphany recently that has brought you to this state of gratitude. That's a really good energy to be in. Where it's like, look at all of these blessings. Look at all that is possible for me. It's just like feeling really abundant and fulfilled. Tell me about Libra for the weekend, please. Libra, Queen of Cups, okay, you could be dealing with Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or you could just be in a very loving energy right now, feeling very compassionate, feeling very lovey-dovey, um, there's the Ten of Wands here, something is stressing you out, it has become a burden for you, the Death card, something ended here, okay, or you're going through great transformation. We have seven of wands. Someone feels defensive or someone feels like they want to fight for this or they're pushing forward on something. They're pushing forward for this because we have the chariot. So Libra, you could have been dealing with the queen of cups and something got too heavy for you um, and you're wanting to move forward now. Something ended and you're feeling um, a little bit bitter or defensive towards this person. I really don't get that energy off because we have cornucopia and this gratitude and this grace. So either you're realizing someone you left behind really wasn't for you and you're now you feel like, oh, good, I didn't waste my time, you know, or like, oh, I'm glad I found that out now. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad I found that, that out now. <laughs> I wish I could talk. So I think we're coming into pre-shadow phase for Mercury retrograde and that affects your communication. Anyways, Queen of Cups. Okay, so that's for one group of you. I really feel like... It's possible, too, that you're feeling um, that you're feeling very loving um, and very compassionate and and like you know what you want. Sometimes Queen of Cups is an overgiver, though. OK, so be careful this weekend. But um, something is really weighing you down about this Queen of Cups. You may really want this Queen of Cups or you really love this person a lot. There's a lot of stress involved in this relationship or pressure uh, with this Queen of Cups. Or this Queen of Cups could be you. Whatever it is, okay? It's causing a transformation. It's a heavy stress, a burden, and pressure. And it's causing either an ending or a major transformation in you. And so Seven of Wands is like either wanting to fight for something. Or you feel this person is guarded. Or you feel guarded. Or you feel like you're blocking this situation in some way. For some of you, you want to... You have had a transformation and you want to fight for this thing. There is love here. That's why I keep going back to this Queen of Cups. Because although there's this pressure and this heaviness and this stress and this death card, there's either an ending or transformation. So you guys know better than me. Then Seven of Wands with the Chariot. It's like you're, you're on this new beginning. You're on uh, another path. It's a new direction. The Chariot wants to move forward. So either you want to fight for moving forward after a transformation with this Queen of Cups because of this heavy energy, or you're just feeling very positive and loving and compassionate. Um, no, I don't get, no, it's too much stress. So, you've either gone through great pressure and strain, which caused a transformation or an ending, okay? And now you're either fighting for a new beginning for yourself, or you're realizing you want to fight for a new beginning or a new direction or taking starting over on a new path with this Queen of Cups. That's up to you guys. Take it how it resonates because there is love in that situation. However, there's a lot of stress too. So you guys know. 
Um, there could have been an ending, and so you feel like now you're blocked off from a new beginning, so you're just going off on your own on a new path. Okay, Scorpio, please, for the weekend. We gotta hurry up. Scorpio, for this weekend. The magician in the mirror. Wow. You guys are alchemizing something, creating something new. You may feel uh, a lot of synchronicities this weekend. Things really coming together for you. Manifesting a new beginning here. Feeling very creative. You guys may be painting or like making jewelry. Something this weekend that is inspiring you. Magician in the mirror. It's like you're realizing you are the creator. Maybe you're you're manifesting this weekend or you're seeing things fall into place that you've been asking for or seeking. And it's like, yeah, you feel like, yeah, I'm getting shit done. I'm doing this for myself. <laughs> Tell me about Scorpio energy for the weekend, please, Spirit. Where are you at, Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay. The miracles are endless. Same as Virgo. Wasn't it Virgo? The miracles are endless. I feel like you guys are seeing these miracles. I feel like you're seeing what you're creating and you're realizing it like you're doing it. It's like you're witnessing these miracles. Maybe you're getting closer to spirit. Maybe you're you're really grateful in the spirit of, of gratitude. For what, for what God and the universe is bringing into your life or what you feel you have created in your life at this time by manifestation, by staying positive. You walked away from something, okay, that was not emotionally fulfilling. Yeah, there's an arguing here. Someone is bringing chaos into your life or maybe you were, there's a tower moment here. So something shifted, something ended, something had to start again. You walked away from something and that maybe caused a fight. Someone didn't like that. King of Wands. You could be uh, dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person could be, I don't know, King of Wands is like very passionate, you know, but he's not as stable as like King of Pentacles is. So this could just be you standing your ground. It's like now you're in this energy of like, I'm the shit. And then we have this page of pinnacles. So you know you're bringing in new opportunities for yourself. There could also be a male in your life that's bringing in new opportunities. You walked away from something here um, that was not emotionally fulfilling because you went better. This has caused some sort of an uh, chaos or an argument. You could be con conflicted about this within yourself as well. And then we have the tower. So this brought the house down. You walking away brought the house down. And now this person either wants to come back and give you another um, offer, another offer, another proposal, another sort of gift, opportunity, or this is you creating this opportunity for yourself. Whatever it is, you feel good about it because you're the magician and you are witnessing miracles. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. And we have the fool. Yeah, this is a brand new beginning. I feel like you're you're in a really good place right now, Scorpio, with the King of Wands. After going through some sort of conflict and great pain and, and a brand new beginning, it was like, this had to happen, okay? This power moment was a necessity, and you know that. And it's like, you walked away, you know? So, <clears throat> like it. Take it out resonates, okay? The roles can be reversed, just so you know. Tell me about Sagittarius for the weekend, please. Sagittarius for the weekend. Sagittarius. Action. Same as Capricorns. You guys are making moves, okay? I make money moves. You guys are making moves. On the road again. Could be traveling this weekend. Oh my goodness. Did you hear my stomach? <laughs> Use your mind wisely. Okay.
Okay, so you really need to think things through here. Don't get overworked. Don't be too physical or laborish, whatever. I feel like you're doing too much. So spirits like take it easy, use common sense, be logical. Don't overwork your mind. I feel like you guys are being overly analytical this week. I'm like <clears throat> building a strategy, building a website, doing a lot of mental computer numbers, crunching numbers work or something. So it's like you're you're feeling the push to get stuff done, but you're needing to take time on this, okay? Because <clears throat> you don't want to get burnt out mentally. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Three of Wands. So you're excited. You're expanding. You're excited about your future. And where you're headed. This is like waiting for your ships to come in. Like I'm doing the work here. I've been doing the work. Where are my ships? Queen of Wands. You're feeling better about yourself. You could be making changes to your appearance, um, getting your hair done, etc. And you're feeling good about where you are right now. You're fighting for something. Seven of Wands. You're pushing for this. This is a very good energy. It's like I know what's coming in for me because I'm making it come in for me. This is why you're taking action. And you feel really good. You're fighting for this. It's like you're creating this for yourself. You're taking forward action and movement. Page of Cups. This is something fulfilling for you, okay? Someone may, you may have to have a conversation with someone, or someone may be coming in to talk to you. Uh, messages of love. Someone may open up to you about something or want to have a conversation about their feelings. It could be an apology. It could be anything, really. It could just be someone saying, hey, I'm proud of you. Or like, hey, you're you're doing big things here. Um, someone's going to make you feel good this weekend because someone comes in with a message and then you got this ten of cups. So it's like happy home, happy family life. Something is just coming together for you and it feels really fulfilling in all ways. I feel like this is about a creative project that you're building um, or money, uh, but it's also about relationships, okay? Because you have something here that is fulfilling for you and it turns into something that is even more fulfilling for you. Like the biggest fulfillment for you. Ten of Cups. It's like everything. It gives you everything. It gives you life. It gives you emotional fulfillment. Family. Happiness. Uh, it's everything. And we have the lovers on the bottom. Okay. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, but this is about. This is like a choice that you made. I feel this is like a mental choice. Use your mind wisely. It's like you're deciding today to change something. Or you're deciding today to move forward on something. Or you're deciding today about a relationship. Whatever it is. The lover doesn't have to be about a lover, but this is a romantic energy. Remember, because of that trine with the Venus and Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces. So you could be feeling more romantic. Your partner may be feeling more romantic. Or someone could be taking a romantic gesture towards you. And whatever this is, it makes you very happy this weekend. So thank you guys for watching. That's it. I, I love you. And please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye.